How you doing, Ralph here, Ralph at Customs. Time for a weekly catch-up. Bit of a sketchy one. I wouldn't call it fan mail, but I've had some viewers. I've Chrissy and James, yeah, from Sopia. If you can focus on that, Sopia Bath and Body, and James does Ugly J soap. So check out those. Google those. If you freeze frame this, you can use the lube code lube for ten percent off, which. Absolutely, made me piss myself. Same with my merchandise. Code, code lube gets you ten percent off. Anyway, the, the Chrissy messaged me and said, "We love what you do. Can we send you something nice?" And the fucking hell, I'm so touched, guys. Thank you so so much. What I have is some dirty man's hands cleaning polish. Yeah, which fucking hell, work. Look, I've just used it for the first time. If it gets that fucker off, then I'm seriously being pro. Right, so I've just used it for the first time. And for me, if you know me, yeah, yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby, it smells nice as well. And it's left my hands feeling all right. To be fair, the box is a bit soggy, Chris. We've had terrible weather, haven't we? And they've also sent me some Ugly J soap, which is James. CBD, which is always a good thing infused spearmint soap bar oh it smells fucking lovely look at that bad boy so we'll be taking that home and enjoying that and not even no, that, that's not it we've got a little package uh, some soap here soap samples for mrs ralph uh, customs and family well it's just mrs ralph customs at home so there's some all sorts i've got a sneaky peek look because you're fucking crazy now. Oh, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. The box I sent it in, it's just made me piss myself for laughing because of the, the, the Bob's your auntie on one of the first things that out. A lovely, lovely note thanking me for what I do, saying how much I like it and they wanted to send me some goodies. So, um, I will be taking that home. I'll put that up on the wall, on my card wall here, and I'll take that home and enjoy it. I'll use man cleaner that I use here, but I'll put that in the bathroom. You know, I'm always I'm in the garden doing shit, and in the I'm always got dirty hands. My mum used to call me the Black Hand Gang when I was growing up. The Black Hand Gang, like one person can't make all that mess. They were a revolutionary party, I think. That wasn't very nice, but you know, there you go. So she's like, anyway, onward and upwards. Let's see what I've been up to this week. So. In your absence, I've been working on the remember the road king, the road queen. Let's just have some lights on. Mm. There we go. Same mm. properly, Ralph. It. So safety third. So we've been working on that, and we've replaced these front rails. Look, where the rubber mounts were, gone. Now we're mounted fucking solid. Now it's not been on the road. We've not had an issue, but. But due to circumstances beyond my control, people who shall remain nameless did a bit of fucking doubt casting. So, in order to reassure and resolve, we've set two because we want people to be happy. We've done that. Um, made an edge steady as well. Because we had to, if you remember, we had a rose joint here for the rubbers to let it rock and roll. Where's the fucking, I've lost it. Made it, lost it. Uh, here we go. So we made this look out of the uh, bracket that holds the coils. So that 
I'll sit like that. All ticked up and fucking lovely. What we're on with this morning, which I'll probably film, is mounting off the forward controls. Um, now, I've, I made plates to fit where the existing rubber mount things were to adapt the standard Harley fitting forwards, if you like, to fit this with those funky rubbers, because they weren't for a fucking road king, were they? The forwards he's bought, so. I'm gonna reverse engineer them back to standard fitting and get them on, I think. That'll be, uh, this morning we'll be put the jigsaw puzzle together that is in that box and is the forward controls. And then we'll make up five threaded, three on this side and two the other side to get them fitted. Okay, so we have assembled, kind of loosely, roughly. Well, obviously, we know that that's going fucking somewhere there, like. Yeah. The bottom of this needs to be above the bottom of the frame. So that's one side, and the same the other side. We have a some blurred, roughly, loosely. And again, tried to work out a little bit higher than the standard gear change. Just fuck all higher, like, but about online, a little bit further forward because we've got forwards. And we know the side stand that I can't show you at the minute. I've not actually got it, so I'm using one that I've got as a barometer bolts on those four holes that are in the square and that's gonna go somewhere there we need to make now on the lathe yay yes we do some threaded dowels some threaded lugs that are gonna weld on the frame and I've measured the first one wants to be about three quarters of an inch long and that'll get us a starting point for the uh, for the whole affair and then we can go from there I know we need one with a diameter of three quarters. Then we need to look at the stainless, can't you use that? Need to look at the material I've got and make uh, one three quarter diameter, three quarter long with a M10 thread because we're going to go metric because that's right, what I did. Right, so we've chucked up a bit of this steel. This was actually linear bearing steel. Yeah, it's all right. Roller things went on these. I'm not sure what made of be honest but I think it's just mild. I've faced it up and it faced up lovely but I need to machine it down to 20 mil. So I'm gonna see if I can do it all in one go. It's five mil off. So we're doing 100 thou cut, depth of cut. We'll see what this does. Oh right, yeah. That'll be it. Right. Something wrong with that. Feels a bit sounds a bit crunchy like. Right? Give it a bit of loose. Uh oh. Help smoke up the fucking work job, ain't it? There you go. Whoa. Now the smoke's cleared. We're in with a sensor drill. And our second size. to a depth of about 30 mil to get the uh, tap a good run light. Right, now we're running with a counter sink tool. We'll slow things down a bit and get ready to go, nice and slow. Give me the M10 machine tap, fill a loop. Come on, baby. There we go. Well, I'll feed this way in. And as soon as it starts to fucking get a bit bum twitchy, which is gonna be any minute now. Come on. There we go. We'll reverse it. And have it out. And we're ready to pot it off. I know. So, oh, slow that down. No one did that, did we? No one really been a bit fucking hectic. So, we'll get this bit parted off. Stop that and break that edge. Happy days. One down. Ooh, 
Oh, it's good. All right. So, there's three made and in place. Nice little bracket out there to give it a bit of fucking summit. Oh. And we've got a bracket on there ready for the other side, which is a peculiar fucking mountain. So we're going to use two more of these, but it's uh, like horizontal and not how I expected it to be. So it's no, no different, makes no difference really. Um, but we've made two more that are fucking hot and oily at the minute. So we'll get them cleaned up and bolted up. And we'll get the uh, right hand side tacked in place and go from there. There we go. There's number two. All in place. So now that all that leaves, all, <laughs> what that leaves now is to get this off the bench, get the engine out, get it back on the bench, and give everything a really fucking good clean up. Yeah, good smooth out where I need to. Like on those front engine mounts. Give that a bit of a clean up. And uh, finish ticking around these bosses, both sides. I know I need to do something with this as well. I forgot about that. I'll look at that right now. Um, and then it's off to the powder coaters for it. And so there we days. fucking have it, look. I swear. Look into my eyes, not around my eyes, into my eyes. <laughs> off to the powder coaters. All fettled and welded and fucking made lovely. We've dressed up every fucking visible weld. I won't go into it, but painter let him down, so I've stepped in and said, uh, I'll do the work, I'll put you, sort this fucker out for you, like, you know, and a couple of other bits. Um, that he had a change of art over, bless him, and I'll get him powder coated, so it's off to the fucking powder coaters. Right, and with that done and off, <coughs> excuse me, the powder coaters, <coughs> get out and walk. Right, but that often uh, dropped off at the powder coaters. We can crack on with finishing our fucking Danny Boy Chollers. So, we have got to make a tray, an, an under or over tray, over the top of the oil tank or under the seat, depending on how you look at it. And we need to manufacture a steel fixture. Uh, only light, it's just to cover. So what I've done is, <coughs> I've got my CAD look ready, my cardboard, ready for the CAD. There, and I've got myself a nice fresh sheet of 1.2 millimeter mild steel. And a pair of scissors, craft knife, and a pen. Um, it's not a craft knife, it's a fucking Stanley knife, that's what it is. Or a box cutter, man. Uh, and the scissors ain't on there, but I'll get them. And basically, I will make a cardboard template, as I always do, with such things. I'm not sure if that's going to do it. Might need that opening out, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll have the seat off, we'll make a template, and then we'll look at cutting it's it out. It's like the end of days. One of my bulbs is gone. It probably doesn't show it on the camera, but that makes it a bit gloomy in here. And we have the joy that is... The indoor water feature, because the shutter's not sealed completely, because it's a fucking shutter, you can see a bit of daylight in the corners, but it's absolutely fucking pitch black and owling it down out there, well. so yeah, <sighs> I might have to move these two forward a little bit to escape the deluge. Right, oh, a bit of a change of plan. Hello. Fucking puddle there. All that I knew was the hole in my shoe that was letting in water. We have a flood situation. I've mopped and cleaned and done the best I can. I've had to move, relocate the kitchenette. Because we've got electrics uh, full of water. Which is, we've had flash floods and storms and. Not something you see every day, is it? <clears throat> At least you get to check out underneath if you're thinking of buying it. It's not just me, look. At the MOT place. Fingers crossed. And fucking... It's like... I've seen a fucking man building a big boat. <coughs> it might have fucking be drying up a little bit, having said that. But fingers crossed. 
Because it is fucking soggy, but Right, folks, another day, another fucking day. The rains have subsided. The doves come back with the olive branch. And we're back on this fucker, so. Made me cardboard template. Which is going to be, it's fucking big, but it's big, the bikes are fucking beast. So that's like that. Yep. Yeah. Um. Thinking I might shrink it down a bit to be fair, like. It needs a power bulge. It needs to lift up to clear the battery because the battery protrudes. Uh, so basically, we're going to cut the outside shape out. And this 1.2 mil, it cuts nice with a grindler. We'll use our uh, section of fucking rail, our rail track. To uh, someone's just dropped on my foot, I don't know what it was. This shit off the rail track. We're going to use our rail track as a fucking paperweight on there, and we'll cut this out with a chop saw, with the cutting disc in the grinder, I should say. The fucking Allen keys, oh, yeah, yeah, I know what I am. Um, and then we'll look at fitting it, and we'll put this power bulge in, and we'll shape this end over the backbone. I'm thinking, or I might, now I've drawn that out, I might chop half an inch off with this all the way around and see how it sits when it sits inside the frame tube a bit. I might be happier with that because it's fucking massive, like. Mm. Right, we've had to trim up. I don't like it. It's not going to do what I need it to do. It will sit inside the frame rails, obviously. That's a no-brainer. That's easily done, but it's not going to cover it, cover it as as desired by our Danny. So full size it is. What I'll probably do is uh, put a swage line, come in an inch or something, and put a swage line in just to might, but it might fucking that might twist it right out of shape, which ain't going to fucking be any good light. So we'll see about that. I'll get this cut out. Do the power balls. We know that we need that. So uh, we'll go from there. That's a basic shape cut out. I'm just going to give it a couple of slits for the power bulge to get over the battery. So there we are. Do a bit noise there. I'm right in fucking shadow there. Might not be as nice as I would like. Right, so we made those slots and filmed it really badly, but there you go. It's been one of them fucking weeks. I make no apologies. <sighs> and we're going to clamp a bit of box section to act as a former to do that power bend because I've got, I've not got a pan folder that's as wide as this and I can take the teeth out so that it misses it and bends it up. So basically, we've got this that then gets clamped in the vice that you can't quite see. Let me move you. Hold on. Brace yourself. Scream if you want to go faster. So we can clamp that in the vise, like so. And then, because it's only 1.2, it's not too heavy like, we can give it a bit of that. And then go and try it on. I think that that'll be more than enough. It probably is too much, to be fair. But we'll mark that look, so repeatability and uh, go and offer it up and if we find that that's right which I'm going to try and get it horizontal-ish maybe sloping slightly down then we'll cut some triangles and we'll take them in or maybe make them in and fucking sand it up not sure yet we'll see right so that is fucking Bob on Bob's your auntie what I need to do is cut the circles where the spring, seat spring brackets are, the bobbins that I made and welded on. If you're following, you'll, you'll know what I'm on about. If you follow along. Um, so I need to cut a circle out. Maybe I should have done that before. Or an half circle. I don't fucking know. Uh, <coughs> I think we'll be me though. So I'll get them cut out and then I'll cut some fillets to go in there and get them welded in. And then we can shape this over the backbone. We can panel beat this a little bit and then maybe look at those 
um, putting some stress lines in it, some suede lines or something. Not sure, not too sure about all that, but we'll set a nice little quick one using four guides for round. We've got the center of this gives us a size. I'm looking at these cutouts that I've just been on about. A bit too small. That's way too big. Oh, sorry. That's way too big, obviously, but that's too small. So we find a washer. That's about right. We'll gauge that. That's fucking bob on. And what we do, we use the corner, this corner of the job. Uh, I did it on the top one. This corner there. And we, we aim that into the center like so. So focus. And then we're near as fuck it is to swear in. We can draw around that like I have and gives us a radius. And then we just use the sander with a part worn in like this because that's got a bit of a, a corner to it like. And that'll cut that out lovely. I'll do that off camera. So we have those cutouts made, just like I said. No drama it's there like. And we have these little wedges that are not potato wedges. They're steel wedges. And they're going to get tacked in there with a TIG. And then we're going to see about welding them up. So that's next on the agenda. So we just put getting a few tacks on. Just flash tacking that. <coughs> I'm getting it where we want it. Is that it? Dead air. A misfire here, right? A bit of contamination or right. something. Right, now, if I've tucked that up well, which I think I have, we should be able to weld this with no filler. So, here we go. If I can get a start. Here we go, look at that. <laughs> Do do do, just gently pushing it along. Go up. I'll do that with the other three joints. Bob, your answer. It smell that smell. It's that time of year again. Ah, fucking hell. Yeah, smell that smell of unburnt fucking oil because this ain't working. <clears throat> I'm going to put the heater on, ain't I? Because he's bolted. <clears throat> We've traced the problem down to this split pipe. So, focus. There you go. There's your fucking issue, for which we don't have a tissue, but we do have a set of fucking long nose pointed that are going to help us get that clip off one way or another with my left hand while I'm filming it. So, yeah, you're going to have to bear with. We'll get that round where it needs to fucking be, which is not going to happen one-handed. So we've managed to totally destroy that fucking clip and then unweld the fucking pipe from the, the fitting line. Anyway, see what happens. There we go. Fire straight up. Obviously, it's not running at its best because... Uh, I got the cover off light, but you can see the igniter look, that just runs constantly. And so does this big fuck off fan. And then when you knock it off, it fucking knocks off. I'm not sure how the fuel delivery works. I assume it's uh, better with the cover on for a start off. And all that unspent fuel that I've fucking jipped and jabbed and fucked about with his uh, making itself known like I assume it's just a vacuum that the fan draws it off or there's some a solenoid thing that uh, I don't know I don't know maybe it's pumped I don't know answers on a postcard to the usual anyway we'll get the covers on and get it burning so it cleans itself up so it is fixed just a little roaring um, the problem is as soon as you turn it off it's fucking it's like the thing Again, if you know what I mean, the end of the thing. Doing a frozen camp in the Arctic, it's fucking wild. If you're not seeing it, check out John Carpenter's The Thing. Not sponsored. <coughs> right. We have fettled and finished this uh, 
the power board section and the cutouts. I'm going to take these out a little bit more, I think, to avoid those, although they don't really need to. Once the springs are on, they won't foul. Uh, not sure. Not sure. I'll take a little bit more out of those, I think. Anyway, we've marked the centre. It's going to sit about there. So, that's all good. What I need to do now is I'm going to mount it there. It's going to have a fix in there. Sorry. It's going to have a fix in there. And then something else, somewhere else, you know. But I need to form this over this a bit because there's too much of a gap. So, I'm going to make uh, a lot of noise with that ball peen hammer. And you can join me when we go fitting a bit better. Okay, so after much... Knocking and bashing and bumping and farting and grinding and fucking sorting. We have that fitting a lot smoother over that. Which is good. Yeah. I need to relieve this a little bit. Oh, I might relieve that a little bit. We've got it tacked down both ends. So what's next is work out. Obviously I'm going to have a fixing at the front there. Work out my fixings for the back. I'm I'm going to see how the springs sit and see whether I can use these pins. You know, weld a, literally, weld a washer on there that catches that pin. That's uh, one idea. Let me get one quick while I'm fucking about. So, something like that. Here we go. Something like that. Look. Is that going to do it, do you reckon? Look. That would do it, wouldn't it? The right fucking look at that. That absolutely is the way I'm gonna do that. I'll get them welded and blended in while I'm at it, like so. So that's that. Um, and then we're gonna strip it down and we're gonna weld it up and we're gonna fettle it much like we did Dazzy. So uh, that'll be next on the agenda. But I won't bother filming that because that's the start of this video is me literally altering a frame. Oh, okay, uh, the front here, but it's the same shit, you know, different day. Just uh, weld it up, clean it up, tick the bits that look nice and uh, make the bits that don't matter. And then, well, it all matters, but you know what I mean? Like the engine mounts, heavy duty shit. I'm going to, uh, I'll make those and then sand them back and so on and so forth. So next time you see this, uh, don't know, it might be all together. I'm not building it up or making it prettier, so say goodbye to it. And uh, that'll be the end of the Evo Chopper build for now. Although I'm sure we will still see bits and bobs of it along the course of our adventures because our dad's one of my best friends. So, so there you go then, no mic on. My breath. But it's quiet in here, everything's turned off and I'm fucking done. Um, tomorrow is Saturday and I'm usually day off or I'm in here having jobs in and out and doing all that. What I'm going to do this Saturday because of the week that I've had. The doors will be locked but I will be in and I will be finishing what you've just seen on, on uh, Dan's. I'll mount that with uh, those washers welded on, I think that's real clever and a threaded insert at the front of the frame there then it won't go anywhere give it a clean up give it a strip down and then spend the rest of the uh, morning or afternoon or however long it takes giving it a right good fucking weld up and clean down ready for powder coating or painting i think he'll do because he's a painter a rebellion fucking paintworks check them out link in the description below so just leaves me to thank you for watching as always, um, please give me a thumbs up if you like what you see in the sub. It makes a huge, huge difference and I really fucking appreciate it, yeah? Not been the best week for videoing and not been the best content for videos, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what I've done and hopefully you've enjoyed it, yeah? So check out my friends in the description below and my merchandise and I will catch you on the next one. Big love, everyone. See you later.